Saturday mornings, I'd get up, I'd switch on the radio. I'd be in a state of hope because I'd be listening to the rugby, whether it was going to be cancelled or not. And my hope was that it was going to be cancelled. Desperately hoping it would be cancelled. It wasn't cancelled. So we go to the rugby and I'm scared because you get tackled and you get banged into and I don't know how to play properly. I don't even know the rules really. But I learned how to play rugby in this way, in that running is good. So I'd run and I'd run after the ball, but I learned to run to never actually get the ball. So I'd just spend the whole time running and running and running and running and running. You know, I got through a really good game if I never touched that ball. <laughs> father played football and he represented Auckland for rugby league and he also was a boxer and we'd get home from the rugby and sometimes once or twice I heard him telling his mates on the Saturday afternoon beer you know I might be in somewhere maybe within vicinity say oh such a sissy he's hopeless and he was a bloke and he he had a really tough upbringing my father he was in an orphanage by the time he was four so he learned to fight there. I imagine that's how he became a boxer and a tough, tough man, because hard work in an orphanage, really hard. Later on, I came to understand that, that his life was hard. He loved us. He loved me beautifully. But his way was to be tough at times, yeah. And his way of loving was to provide. <laughs> 